Hey everyone, this is Steve with Class A, and I, I've gotten some questions about complexity and who creates more complex surface and all sorts of fun stuff. So here are uh, three sets of curves, and as you can see, they are basically identical. I made them in one system and translated them out and uh, opened them up in the other system. So here's Katia and here's NX. This is NX12 and this is Katia uh, revision uh, 25 or 2015 or whatever they want to call it these days. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and hide this. So as we can see, three sets of identical curves. The control points, everything identical. Shape, size, remember I made them in one, moved them over to the other. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to go into Studio Surface in NX and with Studio Surface I'm going to pick curve one, curve two, and curve three. And I'm going to leave it at that. Just going to leave it alone. Next, I'm going to go into Katia, and I'm going to go and create what's called a multi-section surface. Section one, section two, section three. And select OK. And I, you'll notice that I picked everything in the exact same direction. Everything is as close to identical as possible from one system to the other. Here's my Z direction. I picked in this direction. Um, and I did the same for uh, what's in NX. Now that I have that done, I want to analyze each one of these. So you can, as you can see here, there is my um, surface, my non-time stamp geometry, my three curves, and etc. I'm going to go into analysis, pick my surface, and I'm going to turn on control points and turn on uh, display knots as well. You can also turn on endpoints and all these other things if you want. And the endpoints really aren't going to do anything for this one. But you can do uh, show combs and analyze it in different manners. But for here, what's most important is these two show poles and show knots. Now, if I want to analyze the actual face, I'll just do a control I, and as you can see, it's a two by two, one by one. Simple, clean surface. Now in Katia, I'll do exactly the same thing. I want to go into my insert analysis, apply my dress up, pick my surface, show my poles and segmentation, and OK. And as you can see, it seems to have created a slightly more complex surface. That seems it has. Now, if I come in here and insert analysis, geometric information, pick that surface, you can see it's a 6x4, 1 by one singular patch, but is a 6x4. Now, if I look at the uh, uh, model out of NX, and I go to my, set, my settings, and I go into tolerance, you can see I have a uh, 0, 0, 0, 004 positional tolerance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic that in Katia. I'm going to double click on this, turn on deviation, and see if I get a change in the surface. And as you can see, there's my smoothing deviation. I have no change in the surface. So it's created a bit more of a complex surface in Katia. Now, is this good? Is this bad? It, it, it's, it's, all, um, it's all based off of your need. It's not good. It's not bad. Um, it's just what the system does and what your need is. Now, for, for instance, once I've created that multi-section surface in Katia, if I go into, let's say, freestyle, and I want to modify these control points, pick my surface, it's going to say I can't because it's a NURBS surface. So if I start moving this around... Uh, let me go normal, doing stuff like this, right? It's going to create a different surface for me to work with. It's not the same original surface. So there's a break in the parametricity or there was a break in history there. So now what I'm going to do is go back into NX, go into surface, and go into X form. Pick my surface, and once I have that, the direction I want to move in, you can see now I can move this around and it's the original surface that gets modified. So NX 
in essence, is creating a simple surface, but it also has tools that allow me to manipulate the surface that has parameters to go back and manipulate it parametrically, and I don't lose the history. So if you look here, there's my X form. Um, so th it's just differences. Now, one thing that I do really like about NX is with this uh, parametric, this, this history base that I have formed, I can go in there now, and if this was a complex surface in NX, I could go in there and easily change some of the tolerances. I could use my X form, as you've seen me do in, some, in countless videos, to modify, manipulate the complexity of the surface. So it, it does things differently than CATIA. Now, there are things in CATIA that I absolutely love that are far more difficult to do in NX. And I just recently did a video about, well, how do I make one side symmetrical to the other side? So in CATIA, if I come in here, I pick my surface, I come over here and say symmetry, we'll just say XY plane. Now, as soon as I make a move on this side, boop, you'll see, let me go ahead and hide this uh, surface below to clean up my view a bit. You'll see as soon as I make that change, it automatically snaps to being symmetrical across that center plane. So there's things in each CAD system that I love. Um, now, overall, in this case, I think NX is a bit more powerful in the context of the, I have the history. If I make a change to the curves now, it's still linked. Um, I have uh, a definite uh, cleaner workflow than I do in CATIA. But um, again, certain things in CATIA are just a little easier than they are in NX. So in this case, who creates a more complex surface? Who creates a cleaner surface? Who creates, who creates, who creates? I give it to NX. Um, depending on how you create the surface, just as you can see, just a high-level comparison. In this case, NX wins the battle. There's a lot of other tools, like some of the circle sweeps or uh, um, section uh, circles that you can create that you know we can go and, and nitpick about and, and get into, and I'll do that in another video. But just to show you the basics, uh, like for like, from one system to the next, in this case, NX is the winner. Now, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, Send it off to some friends, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.